Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back today to show you another tutorial using envelopes. So this time I've used four envelopes and I've made this little flip um, kind of like it's, it's just like a little folio journal-y sort of thing. So um, you open it up and there's a little some paper to write on and then you can open that up and you can write here and then I've left this blank but you could put paper here and write there as well a little Stamperia card here in the back um, there is a spot for a large tag and then here there's a spot for a, oops, a narrow tag and then here there's a spot for another narrow tag so, and I used the uh, two laces that I got from Liz from M's Ephemera on uh, Etsy. So you can, it lays nicely if you fold it this way, and it also lays nicely if you fold it that way. But I just liked, um, I liked that you could see the roses from the side, and then the back is covered as well. So, let's get started. <laughs> Follow along if you'd like. So you're going to want three of these um, smaller envelopes and they are um, let's see three just over three and a half by six and a half three of those and then this one is uh, four and three quarters by six and a half tall so the first thing I do is you're going to you're going to adhere this here um, and if you don't have self-adhesive you're going to wet the back and, or glue it and attach it there and then the next thing I do is take this self-adhesive bit off. And the way we've done it in all the other um, envelope videos. Um, sorry, I'm having one of those days. Um, you're just going to attach it there. Remember that this one is a little bit taller. It's like six, just over six and a half. So. I like to have the taller bit at the top because we are indeed going to cut that top off. Well, I didn't do a very good job, did I? Best to set it down like that. And what I want to do is leave, because this is flopping over and it's going to have some bulk inside, I like to give it about an eighth of an inch. Uh, so there you go. And then on the other side, we want to do the very same thing. Put another one here and line it up. Give it a little bit, you know, like an eighth of an inch space. Right on. And then um, on this side, I put the other envelope once again on it here. So I hope you can see that. Leo was up earlier and he knocked over my stuff. I know, poor Leo. He's actually watching from the other end of the table, giving me quite a look. Okay, let's see. I'm at a really bad angle today to do this, so. Just set it in like so. Right. So that's there. Okay. Right on. So the next bit is that you're going to want to get, you're going to want to cut. I've cut, um, this is some Artemis paper uh, from a digital kit. And I think it might be from the Dragonfly Fly Dreams kit. This is Tracy Fox. And this is Tracy Fox. And this is Tracy Fox from three different kits. So this is for the back. So you want it six and a half tall by four and three quarters. And it really depends on what size you're using. Um, this I cut six and a half by eight. So they have a little bit extra in the other two as well. So decorative papers that you might want to collage on. So I'm going to um, start here. Now I'm going to use my art glitter glue and 
I do like to run just a little bead down here just behind where it attached to the big envelope and I'm just going to glue around the envelope so I'm looking up to see if I'm even partially on screen so I'm going to glue there and then I'm going to put a wee bead there okay this one we have to be fairly quick with and so I'm going to level that up on the bottom like so and then I'm going to turn it around let me move these out of the way so that they're not impeding us doing this and I want it to level up with the bottom so sometimes you can do it and then just push that back so that we're good to go. So we're just going to try and do this as quickly as possible. I hope this doesn't take forever. Um, not because I don't like spending time with you because that's quite the contrary. Um, it's because I don't know how long I've only tried loading uh, videos that were, uh, I think 15 minutes has been the longest one. So I just fold that over the back. So we've got that done. Glue in there. So great, we've got one done. So the next one is, I'm going to do the inside of here. So I'm going to put some glue again there so that it lays in there a little bit flatter. And so we're going to have to glue this fairly quickly. Um, I'm just deciding what I want on the outside. Yeah, this is right. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, guys, I hope this isn't super dull for you. So, skip a glue. If you're using uh, Fabri-Tac, you have a little bit more time, which is probably what I should have used. Oh well, I'm trying not to use the word should as much because it implies that something's not going as planned. It's kind of a judgmental word, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna go like so. comes over the edge and I'm just going to fold that in the center like so and then I am going to just you can cut it but I like just putting it over the edge and uh, it just makes everything you know it makes these turned bits uh, perfect okay so there we go so I just want to make sure everything is down. You've got good creases. Okay. So the next bit is that we want to put uh, this piece down. We want to put it down here. Like so. So once again, we're going to go like this. Come to the edge. That's the important bit because we're not sewing this. I suppose you could, but it would thin up your spaces for actually attaching items. And then I'm going to put a little bead there and a little one underneath just to make sure that's down. And I'm going to attach this here. Hope you guys are all well. I haven't mentioned that yet. It's just a, a product of being busy with uh, the project. Okay, love this. This is, I think, I think it's compendium. I'm pretty sure it's compendium. And then I'm just going to glue. Let's put that glue there again, and glue this extra little bit there. Okay, I would take 
more time to be precise if um, you know if I were doing this and not trying to do it quickly <laughs> I would take a little bit more time for this this part so we've got that this would go over the top I'll clearly put that on so that it's a little bit lower like maybe an eighth of an inch but that's fine we're okay with that okay so the next bit is to put these pieces of paper on the front and back and then we'll have our base ready it's not hard to do So yes, I hope you're all well and you're having some good weather where you are. Um, I don't know if there's been a break in the heat yet in Europe, but um, it's not been warm here. Like, I mean, we've had a couple of good days, what can I say? I, I shouldn't complain. It's not a complaint. Not a complaint. We've had a, some good days. Um, but it's so cute. Uh, and I love being here. Whoops, I want to do it this way because that way I know I have I won't be gluing over where the paper anywhere where the paper is not going and creating a sticky place where I don't want it. So yeah, we've had actually the weather in the last couple of days has been quite lovely. We're back to rain right now, but um, I don't know when this video is going to play because it really I have to I have to kind of wait and it's not a complaint um, but I'm looking for times when I upload videos for when others might not be using internet the capacity here is not is not high in the um, in this cottage region so okay so that is our base now, what I've done with mine is I cut three spots for tuck spots for um, tags. So I cut the top of this first one on the outside. I cut the top of this one on the front, or, well, just inside the front. And then you can see where the paper doesn't quite go to the top, and that's because I measured it six and a half, and the envelope's a little bit over that. I just cut that off. And there you go. So we've got a spot here for a tag, spot here for a tag, and a spot here for a tag. Uh, you could put another tag in here, um, but I just didn't want to bother with bulk. And you also could if you prefer to put a tag on this side rather than up here, you know, you can make your own choices on that. I just like the idea of everything coming off the top. So that's one. Now what I do then is I ink around the edges and I have one done and I thought we might have enough time, I hope, <laughs> to decorate. Um, so this is the one that I thought we could decorate and you can see where I've inked it and it's exactly the same um, set up. Okay, um, now I made these little tuck spots from the Stamperia paper that I was using for the um, for the cards that I inserted, the journal cards. And I also, this is cute, this is from the Stamperia uh, kit as well, and I thought that would be cute back here. So that bit is done. Um, and the next thing I like to do, I've made these little things of paper. There's even a piece of vellum in here. So, and some brown paper. So all I do, which do I want for the front? The white? Yeah, I think I'll put the white on the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue at the top here. And my idea is that you could use this to write on, to make notes on. But you could also um, use it to decorate the papers to decorate a journal. Okay, so I'm just going to set that on the inside of this. I like that there. And 
I would like to decorate the front a little bit. So, I have some paper. This is paper that um, uh, and some beautiful things that I received from Rachel at Roxy Creations came in and I thought that would be really nice paper for this um, for playing with. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to and I'm just, the decorating is as I always do, you know, just uh, put, I like to put a little bit of paper for contrast in the back like this. That's really pretty. I like to pick out a floral. That's a little too in your face, isn't it? Oh, this is nice. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, we would have to cut a little bit off the edge there. But we do that. And what if we put like this and then maybe a stamp? Okay, so I'm going to put that label on, and you could ink around it if you want. Um, these days, you know, heavily influenced by Rachel at Roxy Creations in terms of my inking. I'm not inking nearly as much as I used to. Um, so I'm just going to cut these, and you could easily ink around the floral as well. It's not pretty. Super nice. So, there we go. People ask me all the time where I got my floral pictures. These were, or floral images, these were gifted to me. Um, I'm still trying to find the book that they come from. So, I think that's super pretty. And I have some butterfly, I have some butterfly stamps. The question is, do you mind it going into the label? I don't mind that. Should, would it be better down here? Wait now, I've got another one. That one, or that, I think the dark blue one appeals to me more. So I'm going to attach that as well. And I am going to set it down here, even though originally I thought I would put it up at the top. We're going to set it down here. I don't think I need to put anything up there. It's still moving. Still moving. Okay. So that's my decoration. And I wonder, the other one had roses there, but here we only see the, the beautiful wing. I wonder if we might want to put something there. Um, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what. Let's see. Do we want maybe a piece of just a... Oh, I'm going to use that for something else, I think. Oh, I know what. Let's use a piece of this beautiful, beautiful um, straw paper that Rachel sent me as well. And if I put that there, it doesn't impede with him, and it looks interesting, I think. Maybe not up quite so high. So, okay. So let's do that. Put that there. We've got our little journal. Yeah, I like that. That's a little bit more interesting. We could put... Do I have a little stamp? I could put like a little, yeah, that's happening. <laughs> a little butterfly up there just to draw your eye up towards the top. That's cute. All right. So the front's done, that one's done. Uh, and then the question is, do we want, this is okay for writing already, for journaling. I don't think you need to put anything on there. Uh, and we could put something over here for journaling. Or, I don't know, do we want to cover up all those roses? Let's make it shorter and see. 
like so. Yeah, I think that would be okay. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to just put glue on this. And this is coffee stain paper. And I'm just going to put this like so. So that's a little spot. And you could ink around that too if you want it where you could um, journal. And I want to put I want to put a um, label here, a Tracy Fox label. Okay. Let's put it towards the bottom, but not over the not over the uh, stitching. Okay, very cute. All right, now I have some. I have some um, tags. So this is the large tag that I made, and this I used the Stamperia paper. And what I did is on the Stamperia papers, they do this great thing where the front and the back pages um, have, where they do their advertising, etc., actually has usable scrapbook paper on it uh, as the other side. So what I've done is I've used that and then attach paper to the back and then decorate it. So I want to put this cutie in here. And I want to put this cutie in here. I know it's awkward. I hope you can see. Okay. All right. So that's what we have. A three-part um, it was sticking to its to the surface, a three part four envelopes in um, with three tag or four tags actually, uh, four tuck spots. And it, I have to say it makes it really good and sturdy, putting paper on both sides of those envelopes, really good and sturdy. So that's the one we just decorated. Super simple and fun to make. This is the one we put together ourselves. And I will finish this and decorate it as well. And then this is the one that was the example I showed you earlier. Uh, and there I only put, I put a little butterfly up there, which is a graphics fairy butterfly. Um, and that's it. There they are. Using four envelopes to make a little flip journal. I guess that's what we'll call them. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well. Um, I hope I have no issues uploading this because it is a bit long for uh, my internet capabilities. Take care, everybody. I'll see you as soon as I can make another video. Take care. Bye.